Hello once again, my fellow viewers. It is March 3rd today, and my next military review will feature very important information. The situation is progressing very quickly, and it seems that today the southern direction will surprise us a lot. So let's observe what exactly is happening in the southern direction. For the past few hours, the situation has been specified in the area of Vznesensk. The Russian troops have been noticed at the right from the side, where Odessa's region and Moldavia are located at the bank at the southern mound. We can't assume that the bridge from the southern mound in the Vznesensk area is under control of the Russian Federation. So far, this is not for sure, but for now, the Russian troops have been noticed at the right bank mound. Also, at the left bank of the mound, the columns are progressing in the direction of Vznesensk and even that of Krivoy Rog. So the Russians are quickly spanning their grouping in this direction, and we can see that altogether, this is a very large operation. If we assume that the bridge which goes through the southern mound has actually been taken by the Russian special forces, this will become a very big problem for the Ukrainian army, because from the rest of Ukraine, Odessa's region will be cut out very, very quickly. Again, if given that the Russian divisions are already at the right bank of the mound. Also, the evacuation of the southern area of Krivoy Rog is being continued. I assume that in this area, there will be a new operation of the Russian army. Again, I think that this will be the airport. And also, according to the most recent review of the Ukrainian army about the recent bulletin, three of the Russian landing ships with the guard ships left Donoslava and are heading towards Odessa. This means there will be a landing only in the area of Odessa. There can be a landing in any other place. And there could be at least three such waves, given the number of BDKs the Russian command has at, it, at its disposal. It is very likely that the first wave left Donoslova early this morning, taking into account the 10 to 12 hour travel time to any point on the Ukrainian coast potentially for landing. We can assume that in the afternoon, this landing group will have already landed somewhere. So the Russian command's operation to occupy southern Ukraine has entered the next stage. Yesterday was the first stage, the capture of the Vznesian strategic point, or rather the bridge. Today we can see the development of this operation, which may mean my assumptions are pretty accurate. Now moving on, according to the official report of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation, the Russian grouping is moving in a broad front towards Zaporozhye and further to the northeast. That is, there is no quick strike to close the ring of encirclement around Donbass, and taking into account the fact that the grouping that was going around Kharkiv turned to the west and accordingly covers Kharkiv, it makes no sense to go quickly in this direction now. I would like to emphasize that the Russian aviation is in full control in this area, and therefore the Ukrainian armed forces have no serious troops to withdraw from the Donetsk region. Also, gradually comes the information about more and more serious cover of Donetsk, grouping by the Russian Federation LNR troops, that the Russian troops are already approaching the Red Estuary, and there are quite serious battles for Izum. This does not mean that the Russian troops have not gone further. It is just that there is a Ukrainian grouping in Izum that is resisting, and it is clear that this is a key point, and Ukraine cannot give it up for nothing, which means that the coverage of the North Donetsk grouping of the Ukrainian armed forces is becoming more and more dangerous. Also in the morning, there were reports that either the Russian or LNR troops have entered the outskirts of North Donetsk. I also learned from the reports of the Ukrainian armed forces that the grouping which is concentrated by Russian troops in order to cut off the last road from Kyiv to the left bank has already essentially approached the road to Kyiv and today it will most likely cut it off and maybe even cut off the road to Zolotanosha and then Kyiv from the left bank will be completely surrounded by them. This is approximately what happened for now about 11 o'clock Moscow time. I think the next release will be done about 18 or or 17 o'clock, also Moscow time. That's all for now. Goodbye. Please wait for the next report.